you guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel my name is london and this is blessings on a budget it's a new year so there's a chance for new opportunities for growth and today I'm going to teach you how I am going to stay financially motivated in 2022. And so we'll start it off real quick with number one, focus on your why. So for me, my why is my son who will be here in a couple months. Um, he'll be, he's due in February in 2022. And he is my why. Also my husband and we want to get out of debt. And so we are focusing primarily on our finances this year to get out of debt. Oh, we're so close, I can taste it. But that is my why. So focus on your why. Before you can focus on your why, you have to determine your why. So why do you want to stay financially motivated? Is it your career? Is it a family member, a loved one? Is it to get out of debt? Is it to build your savings or your retirement fund? Focus on your why and that will motivate you in itself. Okay, my next tip is to get accountability. It is so tough to be in a debt-free journey by yourself. <laughs> And don't get me wrong, a lot of people don't understand the debt-free thing. A lot of people think that living in debt is A-OK -okay and that's their prerogative. But surround yourself with people that will lift you up and that will understand why you're not going out to eat five times a night. Um, that will understand why you're saving for groceries and not just swiping your debit card. Um, so surround yourself with people that will lift you up, but get accountability. You don't want, what you don't want, okay, this is what you don't want, is to hide the fact that you are on a debt-free journey or that you are trying to stay financially motivated um, because that will in turn, someone will ask you to go out and you'll say, oh, I really, I really would like to save that money but they don't know that I'm on this journey and then they're gonna judge me and then, and then, and then what? You spend your money and then you're not financially motivated. So highly, highly, highly recommend letting everyone know that is in your circle, I am on this journey and you can be on it with me or not, but that is where I am at and that is your accountability right there. I've had people that don't understand and that's fine, but at least they're aware why I'm not going out to eat with them. <laughs> Which leads me to my next tip. Join a community. Join a financial community that is going to lift you up. I know that the cash envelope community, we are there. The budgeting community, we are there for you. You are not alone. We are here, we understand the struggles. I understand, trust me. Um, but join that community and get involved. Comment and, and message them. I promise you, we're not gonna bite. If you feel like you're not making it this week and you're struggling with your budget, reach out, we're here to help. Um, and another thing that I do, and it really motivates me, is I listen to podcasts whole day long about I listen to Dave Ramsey's podcast um, and he alone gets me motivated he's really tough on some of the callers and I'm like oh well I'm doing that and, and that's okay like I'm doing what he's saying to do and that just keeps me motivated in itself so watch YouTube videos listen to podcasts surround yourself with that financial community and that will help you stay motivated in 2022. Okay, the next one seems pretty easy, and it is, but keep your goals visible. So come up with your goals, number one, and then 
put them in a spot that you're going to see them every single day. Like for me, my husband and I have one year goals, five year goals and 10 years goals. And we have them on our fridge and we see them every single day. Same with like our debt payoff calendar. We have it on our fridge. We can see it. It is tangible. And that keeps us going. Every time I see, okay, in one year, I'm going to have this car paid off. Do you realize what that does for me? So I think 100% keep your goals visible and that will help you attain them in this year, 2022. Lastly, which is probably my favorite, chart and reward your progress. So if you have those goals and you set many goals throughout the year, when you reach those little goals, reward yourself and then cross it out on your, your chart so you can see, wow, I accomplished that. Wow, I did that. Oh my gosh, I saved $500 this week. Or, oh my gosh, I saved $1,000 this month. Like, mark that out and then go get yourself something. Go treat yourself to a coffee or something that you've been depriving yourself of. Set that reward in advance and then you'll know once you reach that. That alone is motivation for me. If I know that I'm going to have a treat at the end of this sacrifice, I can make it work. I can make not going out to eat work if I'm going to, number one, save money, reach my financial goal, and I'm gonna get a Starbucks coffee. Say no more, I'm in. So that is my five tips for staying financially motivated in 2022. If you have any more tips, definitely leave them in the comments below and let me know how are you staying motivated this year? I'm so excited to see what the Lord has in store this year. Um, but you guys stay blessed, stay frugal, and remember that you are favored. Bye-bye.